faith versus hope, they are two completely different things. So in this video, we're going to talk about faith, how to have faith, how to use your imagination plus faith to get you your manifestation. Let's get straight into it. Okay. Hebrews 11, 1 through 6. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. For by it the people of old received their condemnation. By faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. Okay, there are different translations for this. I'm sure you've heard that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Um, there's different translations for this. So this is why I really encourage you to read the works of Neville Goddard because he knows how to depict this cryptic language and put it back in its original context. But for the sake of this video, we're going to talk about faith. I want you to take note of how in that phrase, in that scripture, it says assurance. So that's the biggest difference between faith and hope. Faith is a level up. It's a level above what we would describe as hope. And the Google, the Google search for hope is a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen. Whereas faith, the Google term, is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. So when you are having hope, you're expecting something to happen. You have that desire still. Whereas if you are already acting in the wish fulfilled, you know that it's done. There's not an expectation because you've already completed your assignment. There's, there's nothing to expect. It's kind of like you know that the sun is going to come up. It, you know that it's going to rise. You know that it's going to set. So you don't need to expect anything from the sun. <laughs> okay. I hope that that makes sense. It's not like you need to hope for the sun to come up and for it to set. Now, imagination. I said before, imagination plus faith equals your manifestation. And how long will it take you? It'll take you the degree of naturalness that it takes for you to have faith in whatever it is, whatever that thing is that you're wanting to manifest, to the degree of naturalness that you have faith in the manifestation is how quickly it will come to you. So let's say, for example, I'm wanting a new job. I drop down into my feeling state. I see where I'm at. I value myself and my abilities, my capabilities, my worthiness, my deservingness. How, how able am I to receive this manifestation? And then I create a story for myself on what exactly I want to receive. What's the salary? How is the environment? Do I have bosses? How do the bosses behave towards me? What's the company culture? What are the values? What are the perks? All that stuff. I've created this new story of exactly the job that I want. I drop down into that feeling state and I envision and I feel myself to be in that position now. And I feel what it would be like for that version of myself to be doing that job right now. And I reach that sensation. I feel the joy of what it's like walking in the office. I feel the sensation of talking to people. Oh, congratulations. You're amazing. Oh my God. You received such a great salary, such a great bonus. I start creating all of these different experiences in my mind to help me and to support me and to persuade. I like to say finesse, finesse my subconscious mind into thinking that it's happening. By God, it is happening right now to me. And then once I get out of that imaginal state into that feeling state and I've done all that I can do, all the internal work, then I completely drop it. That sensation that you have given yourself is so real and so true to your subconscious mind that it will, like a faithful wife, deliver that reality to you. 
and you don't have to do much to get it. There's been many times where I've manifested a job without even applying for the job, just walking in and saying that I want a job. That actually happened the last time that I got a job. So going back to faith, faith is this knowing. It's much stronger than hope. Take, for example, this rock. I know that I'm holding this rock. I don't need to believe in it or expect to hold the rock. I don't need to desire to hold the rock because I'm holding the rock. I know that I'm holding the rock. It's a crystal. It's a crystal. It's, um, what is this? It's the one for creativity. Somebody tell me. I got, I got this in Sedona. Somebody tell me what this crystal is. <laughs> But anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. I know that I'm holding this rock. I don't have hope that I'm holding this rock. I have faith. I have complete trust that I am holding this rock, this beautiful crystal. This is how you prove yourself to be the operant power. Imagination plus faith. So to get to this space where you have faith, and you have complete trust is through practice, through getting yourself to believe and actually see out in your reality how you have been supported in whatever topic that you're wanting to change. So going back to the job example, there was a point in my life where I knew I wanted a new job and there was this job, I had a dream job in mind for the longest time and it just seemed like it wasn't coming to me and so eventually I just got to the point where I completely gave up. I ended up finding a job that was less pay and it seemed pretty cool, like the people were really nice. So I figured, hey, why not? I started working that job and it was not a coincidence that within less than a month, the job that I had always wanted reached out to me, said, hey, come in for an interview and you've got the job. We actually created a position for you within the company. I, I can't make this up. Um, looking back, it was very amazing and I had to do hardly, I, ha I, I hardly lifted a finger. The people already knew that I wanted to work there, so it was a very easy process for me. But when I, did, when I gave up, when I decided that, hey, I'm gonna be fine either way, let me give it my all, let me work as if I'm working my dream job, show up to the best of my ability, do the work that needs to be done, complete the task and do things with that childlike attitude, that's when the manifestation, that's when the dream job came flooding my way. And this isn't a coincidence. This is what happens in most cases when people become satisfied in their reality and have peace or acceptance that doesn't mean that you're not going to get what you want. It just means that you're in alignment with what you want. You're closer to your manifestation more than ever before. There's no longer this, this longing, this desire, this need to be somewhere. You don't feel, you don't feel like you need to get somewhere. That's when things come to you. When you don't feel like anything is missing. Like you don't feel that you're incomplete. I'm whole and complete. There's actually everything going right in my life. And here are these things. So I made peace with my circumstance. Then I started behaving as the person that was in the dream job now. Started evoking that feeling and my dream job. My dream job just floated into my experience. I hope that this makes sense. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for. It's the level above and it will get you your manifestation. Imagination plus faith equals your manifestation. You've got this. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye.